Mark Pinar here today. We're going to be going over the uh, red belt requirement for our kicking set, and we're going to be doing shuffle back and then throwing an attack. So whenever you shuffle back in martial arts, or uh, when you're sparring, I should say, it's to throw some sort of counter attack. And uh, what you want to do is work on your shuffling. And I did a video on shuffling on, on a different YouTube uh, video. You can go back and watch it if you want to. Uh, but basically, when you shuffle, you have your weight forward, hands are up. This back foot is going to move back. I land like a brake on a skate, and the front foot pushes me away. And the nice thing about shuffling is it develop, it gives you a little bit more time to decide what you're going to do when you're sparring. So we have three kicks we're going to be working on. We're going to do shuffle back and press a kick, shuffle back to throw the back kick, and then shuffle back, spinning kick or spinning hook kick. And uh, I want to go over each one of them. Now, why do I use this one? So the first one we're going to do is the shuffle back and crescent kick. And the reason we use this one is if the guy is in too close. So I move back, he's inside. He throws that roundhouse kick to my backside, or he throws some sort of punch, and then he's coming inside quickly. So I'm gonna throw an inner crescent kick and hit him upside the head when he's moving forward. Okay, watch again. Shuffle back. When I do the inner crescent kick, it's with the inside part of my foot. And then I land in front. Okay, one more time. Shuffle back, motion, then come down and kick. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is shuffle back, back kick. Now on this one, I'm sparring, and the guy throws one kick to my stomach, to my front side, I move back, and, or I'm sorry, to my back side first, I move back, and then he throws a kick to my stomach, and I counter by hitting him with the spinning back kick. So one more time, the guy will throw an attack to my back side, I'm getting away, I'm dodging, he throws in another attack, but that's to my front side. And I'm going to turn and throw the back kick into him. And that's why you throw the shuffle back uh, back kick. So watch again here. So I motion away, I'm dodging, I turn, and I throw my back kick right at that person. So let me do it again. Shuffle back, back kick right into him. Now, if they're getting a little bit too close, you're going to have to switch it up and throw the spinning hook kick instead. So. On this one again, the guy attacks here first, you dodge that first kick, you see that second kick coming to your stomach, now you're going to turn and spinning hook kick right to the head. So again, I shuffle back, I see the first kick, he missed me, maybe he tried to do an outside leg kick, if I'm doing Taekwondo, maybe he tried to kick to my flank, I got out of there, now he's kicking with the back leg or he's throwing some sort of wild punch at me, okay, I'm going to drop the shoulder, spinning hook kick right upside the head. Okay, one more time. I shuffle back, spinning hook kick all the way around. So let's review the three. Shuffle back and repress the kick first. I move back. Bang, I hit that person. He got a little bit too close. I couldn't hit him with the roundhouse kick. So I throw the inner press kick instead. The next one was shuffle back, back kick. And then the third one was shuffle back, spin kick or spinning hook kick. And those are the three shuffle back kicks for your red belt curriculum. And I'll talk to you guys later.